we might have a bit of a problem, guys. I'm dead to a rocket by Irene, but my home bag is still there, huh? Let me just log in real, real quick. Click. Okay. I'm... Everything is gone from... Okay. This is nice. I like this. This is good. This is good. Listen, alright? I hope that they raided every fucking thing, because there's a lot of shit everywhere, okay? There's a lot of stuff in a lot of different places, okay? It seems like any time that I get raided now, my bag is always left here no matter what. I don't really understand why. Alright, so we still have all that there. Okay. Still got this here. Okay. Not bad, not bad. But then the upstairs comes in. Oh, God. Wait, they didn't even get this? Okay, well, I mean, there's already just all this right here. You guys better have got the rest of the upstairs. Which they had to have. They had to have. Yeah, they did. Okay, okay. I was gonna say. I was gonna say they had to have got the rest. But hey, man, they missed that shit over there, which is just beautiful, man. I love that. Wait, they put down their own ladder hatch? Wow, okay. Well played to the people that raided me, though. Well played, well played. Enjoy the loot. Have a good rest of your wipe. Just trying to think, man. Like, do I stay or no? Probably not, though. I'm probably not, you know? <laughs> well, shit, man. I don't know. Honestly, it might be time for a modded day, and then tomorrow can be, like, the restart. Because I'm not going to be on here for as long as, like, I want. Like, compared to, like, one of my normal sessions... I like to play, like, a startup day, like, longer than just a normal session, you know what I mean? I should join a PvE server. <laughs> just see, it, like, what's happening on there, man. Alright, so I actually said screw a PvE server, guys. We're gonna be playing Escape from Tarkov, but Rust, right? Um, because there's a modded server that's very, very similar to it. Yeah, Escape from Rust, as we can see. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in here. Oh! Okay. This is like the hideout, right? Yeah, this is the hideout, I guess. Okay. What does this guy right here have? Upgrade storage? Oh, okay. And then that right there is the way to like get out. Oh yeah, scav, a free kit. Let's start scaving, man. Let's go. Guys, I know the Tarkov maps decently well, by the way. Queued for all maps. You do not need to stand in the portal while waiting. Waiting too long. Yeah, fuck off. I don't give a fuck about your stupid ass VIP kit. Not taking my money, bitch. EMC Customs, bring your own kit. Okay, so I need to figure out how exactly... Oh! Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit, man. And I'm on factory? Oh, man. Listen, okay, I'm running upstairs for the safe, okay? Fuck this shit. Motherfucker. Listen, okay, I just want to get over here to the safe right now. If, uh, nobody minds. Okay, like, yeah, there, there's no safe on this shit. Okay, Dylan? There are filing cabinets right there, but they're not lootable. Okay. Incense pistol bullets, I will take that. Oh, five berries, that's nice. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Like, are, like, are people really playing this shit, like, slow as shit, like Tarkov? Like, is that actually what's happening right now? This is insane. You got motherfuckers roaming around this bitch, guys? Oh, and plus, like, this is a scav run, so, like, this is after a PMC thing has, like, already ended. This guy's just... Okay, well, I mean, you have a water pipe for me, which is kind of cool. <gasps> there's that guy. Oh, yeah, but then there's that guy right there. Okay. Listen, okay, let me just get over here and just get involved a little bit. Let's do this, okay? I don't know how that just now missed, but whatever, it's fine. You're dead. Okay, okay, what's going on? Listen, man, I can do this shit with you all fucking day, alright, man? Oh, yes, now you're just fucked. Oh, I have to drop down, I have to run around, run away and hide. I will literally still kill you right now, bitch. Let's go. Why are you hitting a barrel? Boom, you're fucking dead now, bitch. What's up? 
Guys, don't make me start fucking grinding this shit, though. I'm serious. Don't make me fucking play this again tomorrow and start fucking snowballing my way up. I'm serious, because I know Tarkov maps, okay? No one... Not everyone knows this, but... What the... Oh, no, there you are. Okay. What's up, bitch? How you doing, dude? Oh, my God. You fucking... You poor, poor soul. I kind of feel bad for you just because you're a straight dork. Just kind of sitting over there crouching around like a weirdo, you know? Hmm. Green card, that's cool, I guess. Oh shit, hello. No, shut up. Yeah, I guess it'll get out of here now. Gate zero is this so I mean like I spawned here though, like that's why I'm kinda confused. I'll leave now though, I guess. It should be the way out for me, I think. Okay, gate zero is not this. Okay, then I know what what it is. It's all good. I mean like I could still like snowball up and kill these guys, but I'm just gonna dip right now, get this shit back home. Boom, we're out of there. Got. Okay. Nice. Extraction successful. Nice. Alright, and so then... Okay, alright. Let's go ahead and start depoing some of our stuff here. Alright. I'm gonna go out with my, uh, my P2, though. PMC Customs. Bring your own kit. Alright, Customs, what's up? Alright, so where am I? I'm, uh... Okay, I know where I am. <clears throat> yeah, like, this is way, way better because... Okay, so passes be between the rocks, ZB, 10, 12, and old gas station. Okay, I know where all... Actually, yeah, I think that I know where passage between the rocks is, but... Yeah, I know where most of these extraction zones are. The thing that I'm kind of confused about when it comes to this is that, like, not every player loads in at the same time, right? Like, that's what I'm kind of finding confusing, because I don't think that's how it works. You just sort of load into whatever game is going on. Uh, so yeah. I mean, like, listen guys, on Tarkov, I'm like a scav guy. Because I, in that game, I just, I don't use gear that often. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, like, I sort of just hog all my shit away and just, I love scav runs just because they mean nothing. Like, if I end up dying and whatever. I don't know, this is a game that, like, I'm pretty passive in, but since it's Rust now, you're going to see me hopping around the map like a fucking 10k hour Tarkov player. Ooh. I like the sound effects. Oh my god, I love it. You have to notice the small details like that, guys. Office access override one. What the fuck? I'm gonna hit that. What the hell? I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that that's to up here? I think. Oh my god, dude. This building is gonna be really, really solid for Lou. But then you have like the rats in this and like like Tarkov rats in Rust. What's going on inside of here, though, huh? Alright, the computers aren't here first off. That's not cool, but it's okay. Th they, there's nothing here. Okay. It's actually kind of sick, though, man. I'm not going to lie. I This is cool. <laughs> <clears throat> Seeing, like, I wouldn't be experiencing this unless I got raided, which makes it kind of an interesting thing, right? Like, us getting raided was kind of a good thing when you think about it. All right, one minute here. Let me go over here and loot the body in the bush that has the unknown key on it, all right? One minute here. Dude, like, the bushes and stuff are just the same. It's... Yeah, there's no body in the bush here. Okay. All right, then there's the customs expansion. I forgot about that. And there's no, like, natural scabs, I don't think. But this right here is a medical building. See, guys, I know the, these fucking maps, okay? I know these maps. I don't play Tarkov, or, like, I haven't been playing Tarkov at all recently, but, you know, like, I've played it enough to, to know, like, you know, these maps. 
This this is sick though, man. This is this is actually kind of crazy. I'm just gonna stay on the outskirts of this shit. I'm not running through the middle of this shit, exposing myself. Oh no no no. This is scary on like how much this looks like Tarkov. Like just this entrance, the way like this gate looks, and just the walls. Like this is scary. Like I'm actually wondering if I'm dreaming right now. Like I'm inside this bitch here now, though. Okay. Listen, okay, like, these shelves right here on Tarkov can be crazy insane. Ooh, hello there, food. The shack for the fucking quest on Tarkov. Don't tell me there's a bed inside here, please don't. If there's a bed in here, oh my god, dude, are you kidding me? This is nuts. There's some shit over there, but that's, like, back where I came from, so I don't really want to backtrack over there. It would be cool if I could find someone, but shit. Everyone's just kind of dodging each other on this run, I feel like. We'll find some people next run, guys. Don't worry, okay? We'll find some people on the next run. ZB1012. I'm pretty sure this right here is ZB1014. Like, I just want to look at it and just see what it looks like. Like, does it go actually, like, underground and look the exact same? Okay, so it's not a cell door. Oh, yeah, no, this is actually the one that I have. It does look similar, you know? Like, they can't get everything identically perfect, you know what I mean? It looks solid, though. And this is my only inventory. Okay. I'm turning off this shit. I need to figure out how I'm able to, uh... I need to figure out, like, how I'm able to do certain things here. Oh, wait. Oh, dude, these are recyclers. Oh. Oh, shit. I can just recycle all this different stuff then. I guess. I might want to keep some of these things. I don't know. I'm going to be learning as I go. Then these are like shops. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is different key cards that I can get with things. Different components that I can get with things. Okay, okay. Well, is there any other shops that are around here? This right here is an actual trading thing to trade with other players. Like, let me just look around here to super, super quick. So you can still research things, apparently. Hint, use research people instead of scrap to research weapons. Okay. The Shitter King. Like, is this even like a normal player right here? Yes, it is. People play this shit religiously, like, all day long. Like, this is a thing that people do all the fucking time. What's over here? Is this anything or no? Oh! Um... Where the fuck am I? I see Django. I, I have no idea where the fuck I am. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna extract right now. I don't really give a shit about this map, because this is the new map, I think, and I have no idea what this map is. No clue at all. I mean, like, I don't really have to extract. Like, I can hit G to look at, like, where to, like, leave and stuff. I can still go out and fight. Never mind. We're, we're okay. We depot everything. We're fine. There is a military base right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to go there, guys. I have to go there. Even though I don't know the layout of it or anything, I'm just gonna have to go there. I get killed by a rat just sitting there or something. I don't know. Yeah, there's probably no one on this shit. I wonder if everyone's just kind of on factory right now. Nah, man. Like there's... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. We have snipers that are hiding in the hills and shit on that bitch. Okay. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. That scared me. Did not expect that. They've probably been sitting there for like 40 minutes just to wait for that one little moment to happen. It's all good. I'll just go get my gear set that I just now lost back from factory on a scav run. It's all good. Get ready, get ready, get ready for this. Hey, fuck you. I just not- wait, did he- Oh no, he had shot me, he had shot me. I, I don't even know if I even hit the guy to be honest. Damn. Fuck, man, no! Shit, man, I fucking missed, dude. He wiggled to the left, guys. He wiggled. Dude, maybe I'll actually get up somehow, though. Imagine, the fucking dream. I hit that guy once. What's his HP? Just 60, okay. Fuck, man. I got so close to lining up the headshot on him. Yeah, no, I'm dead. Okay, well played, well played. Can I just go on, like, another scav run? Can I just do this on repeat? Can I really just do this? I can just keep on just going back and just trying to kill the same guy? You're kidding me.
there's no way. I can just literally respawn and just come back. That is not fair. Okay. Oh my god, Gruber! So Gruber! Oh! Okay. Can you please go and kill the freaking P2 guy and stop ratting around? He was just not right here. Oh, dude. Dylan, don't let the rats of Tarkov that have came over to Rust to play it get to you, okay? It's okay. It's fine. Bring this. Let's bring this. What else? What else? Can I make pistol bullets? Like, if I bring this right here to, like, a research table, like, can I research this? 75. Okay, yeah. Research. Then I should be able to craft this shit, right? I think. Okay. All right, then I can just start crafting them here. Okay, well, that's that's nice. So, yeah, it's like this shit right here is like the currency. Like, overall, I want to be getting as much of that as possible, which comes from recycling. And you can just find it. All right, let's go. I'm going to customs. All right, so I'm starting out over here at Old Gas. All right, I'm just going to start booking it over to dorms. I'm serious, man. I'm ready to fight some people over there. <laughs> Watch there just be like a five-man, like, M2 squad. <laughs> yep, dorms, dude. This right here is like the bus yard or whatever. There's, there's not even buses there. Probably because buses don't really exist in Rust, I don't think. Someone just now shot an MP5 over here, so... He's upstairs. Fuck. I wonder if he even just now heard me. Locked crate available. I don't know what that means. Okay, game. What I can tell you, though, is that someone's inside this shit, okay? He's inside this top room. I actually know it here. I actually know exactly what I can do right now. Hold on in. This is a player, right? I'm pretty sure. What the fuck, bro? Why? Of course he drops down right there. Don't make me start to feel bad for you, okay? Just don't. Get a couple guns, which is cool. There should be more trees right here, I think, if I'm correct, alright? I need a little bit more, like, cover here. I don't like this. MP5 guy's gonna be on his way over here to come and try fucking me up. <laughs> Listen, Dylan, or you can just go to Smuggler's Boat and get out of here with your gun profit. I mean, like, realistically, like, if this was Tarkov and I just not snowballed up like that, I would leave right now. But it's Rust, and I have, you know, a lot of hours in this game, so that's why I would not really. I just not fucking heard somebody. But I'm hearing them, like, on and off. Okay, okay. Jesus, fuck, dude, the rats. The rats is, it's, it's just too real. Listen, okay, there should be more trees over here. I don't feel comfortable right now, just so everyone here knows. I don't feel comfortable. But, you know, I got a dip at some point, okay? I'm gonna head on over here to Smuggler's Boat. That was an okay run right there, though. I'll take that. That was solid. Look at the fucking tents, dude. Oh my god, they're made out of rugs.
I love that. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> creative, man. You have to give them creative points for that, man. They did a good job with this shit. Listen, okay? There should be a little bit more trees in certain spots, but you need balance. I get that. You don't want to destroy the FPS. Probably, I'm guessing that's why. Alright, I'm back home. Nice. Good rebound run right there, uh, right there, Dylan. Good job. This guy right here thinks that he's so nuts. Like, oh my god, dude, I own this fucking server. You suck dick, kid. Get the fuck out of here. Silly little fucking goose. Yeah, it's mainly just a grind out here to get research paper to be able to, uh... Learn meds, craft meds, and, and you know, just stuff like that. And actually, to upgrade my storage, I need 500 research paper. Okay. And I am all ready to go, man. Let's do this. I'm just going to go right back to customs, man. Customs is going to be the most fun, I feel like. And I don't know if that's, like, the only maps that they have, but they have factory, and they have, like, this new map over here. And customs is here, and then I don't know if there's anything that's, like, over here, but I don't know. I'm fine with just customs, though, but the thing is, if it's only customs in factory, it can get a bit repetitive at some point. Not yet for me, but if I played this shit a lot, it would get a bit repetitive not being able to, you know, play on other maps. My question is, where's labs at? <laughs> Dude, they have the same cargo containers as like on just like in the game, but they just made them smaller. Oh my god, that is so cute. Have you guys ever seen anything that's that cute in life before? I don't know. I don't know if I ever have, honestly. I should have learned the flashlight that was on my past P2, man. I fucked up. I should have left that shit behind. But I died uh with it on my P2 against the L9 guys. Ooh. I haven't looted one of these crates on here yet. Oh! Hello! The boys are about to get out of here with the night vision goggles and start slaying away. Oh my god, here's somebody that's right here. He has my fucking flashlight for me too. And I'm hoping that he's not just chilling inside this bush just looking around. Because if he isn't, I'm going to die right now. Just listen, man, I need to murder the fuck out of you right now, alright? I need your flashlight. can't see shit, man, so this is just rough. Oh. I cannot see anything, man. If I could see something, then maybe I could do something, bro. But I can't see a damn fucking thing. This is just not good. I want to kill these guys so bad. Because it's not that difficult. It's not, but I can't see anything. Because these guys are probably going to be loaded, guys. Like, there's two of them, dude. And they both have guns with flashlights. They're going over to the fucking dorms, I think. It is becoming good nighttime. And what, where's your teammate? Over there? Inside that fucking place, or what? Did you see me? What the fuck is going on? Shit, now this guy's over here. This guy's so fucking bad, too. Like, that's what's weird about it. You know what I mean? Shh. <laughs> oh my god, dude. A fucking LR guy just rolled up. Dude, damn it. Fuck, dude. And I almost even killed the LR guy, but then the fucking Python guy's outside. I don't have a flashlight, okay, guys? Even though I should have just not hit him a little bit. I could... I know. You know, like, I did see the guy. I did see him, so. Fucking snowball, possibly.
Hey, bitch, what's up, man? Let's do this. What, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, my God, die. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, guys, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. And I'm guessing that's your fucking friend, isn't it? I'm guessing that's your friend. Well, rest in peace, rest in peace. All right, time to go again. This shit, it can kind of feel like Tarkov sometimes, like when losing situations, because you can lose, like, a lot of good shit. And I just know that for a fact, both those guys are together, dude. Oh, my God. Of course, you have to have a friend that fucking helps. I mean, it does help to know that even if I do kill that guy there, I just get shot from the side by an AK and just get killed, right? I can't believe that LR guy had a bolty with incem bullets. That also kind of fucked me right there, for sure. Oh no. Listen, okay? I just not heard someone over there. At least I'm pretty sure it was over there where I just now heard someone. I don't know for a fact, guys, but I just, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I just now saw him over there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah I see him. Okay, okay. One minute here. I love on how you can jump in and out of these freaking windows, man. It's so sick. He's gonna be so close, dude. So close. And, I, and like, I have to keep on going back with all my shit. I have to. Fuck, man. I knew that he was gonna fucking show up there, too, man. You should have had him, Dylan. You should have had him. You knew exactly what his game plan was because he's a fucking rat bitch that sucks ass and he's so predictable. But he has good gear, which is such a Tarkov thing. Oh my god. I'm taking out my fucking last gun. Don't give a fuck. I'm happy to snowball back up. Let's fucking go. Let's do this. Overall, I just, I simply did not play it right. That's pretty much it. Just now I heard this guy shoot over here. What the hell's happening? I think that guy had ended up hearing me. Hey bitch, what's up? How you doing? He's reloading now. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Mm. I can't like peek up high enough here, which kind of sucks. Jump up on top of this fucking thing, bro. Oh my god, I am fucking furious. You're still not dead. Oh my god, that is fucking unbelievable. You're still not dead. I, it, it, oh my god, this is so fucking stupid. Because he has infinite berries. That's the thing, dude. The berries are the thing that's broken in this. That's the problem, I think. Because you can just have a billion berries and just spam, spam, spam and keep your gun out the entire time. And you will never die. Okay. Well, that's, in my opinion, that is a problem. I don't think that should be in the game at all. <clears throat> I'm just gonna be real. Like, at least the amount of berries that someone can have, like, that's like... Like, that's just bad. Oh, not this map. Cause yeah, like pretty much all that that guy was doing, the reason that I never killed him is because he had all these berries on him. And let me just see what I got him down to. 
I got him down to 20 still, like, not even, like, that weak. 20 HP. And it's just because he can just spam a key on his keyboard and get 10 HP over and over and over because those blue berries give you 10 health over and over and over again. So he probably had, like, 50 fucking berries on him. And listen, okay? That is not how Tarkov works whatsoever. That is way, way too easy. So I feel like that could maybe be adjusted. Like, realistically, I'm not even trying to, like, complain and get all butthurt. I do feel like that should be adjusted in this. You should only be, be able to carry maybe, like, three or three or five berries on you at once. Not no, like, 15 or 20. Because the only reason I did not beat that guy is only because of the berries that he has. And I heard him eating the entire time, even just as he's aiming at me. He doesn't have to take out anything to heal up or anything he did use some syringes toward the end with berries but the berries make it way way too op in my opinion so i feel like i, I mean i don't know realistically i feel like that could be adjusted i really really do i have a revolver i can go back out again right now with this gun i should probably just go on like an actual run where like i just loot might sound a little bit boring and whatever but no, no, no honestly one minute okay i'm gonna go on another scav run right now sucks damn i'm just gonna go for something just real real quick and when, like when i say go for something i just mean like change my positioning and try to get a, and try to get like up there but i'm but i'm gonna have to climb up and like around over here so it's not gonna be easy That was just me bleeding out. He didn't hit me through the wall. <laughs> it almost felt like it, but yeah, no, that's not what happened. I'm just going to keep on just coming back, man. I'm just going to keep on scaving. Eventually, I will snowball. I know that I'm going to. I know that it's going to happen. I just know it. It's going to happen at some point. As soon as I catch someone in the right spot, it's going to happen. As soon as I don't get low HP and shit and fuck up, it's going to happen. And honestly, I don't even know where everyone's at, like... Because there's that full road sign guy, then I got shot at by a metal face mask, like, custom guy, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go ahead and like attempt to just get the fuck actually yeah no gate zero let's just go over there I guess yeah we are now out of there we are now back home okay nice amazing <clears throat> small snowball right there but that ain't nothing yet I'm getting ready to go out with all this shit right now I don't give a fuck look at these guys they think they're so fucking cool with their L9s and shit but they suck straight dick yeah, yeah, come join Vanilla. Let me bully you guys around, okay? So I'll bully the shit out of these guys. Oh, yeah, here. Let me take some berries with me, right? Yeah, here. Let me just take, like, seven berries with me. And just be able to just tap, 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 and just be able to heal as my gun's in my hand, you know? Because that's completely, completely balanced. Not even trying to be a smartass about it, man, but, like, that actually should not be a thing. You guys saw that. You guys saw that. That should not be a thing. All right, I'm going customs, baby. Let's go do this. After, after, after I have a potato to eat. Okay, now let's go. I'm not fucking around this run, dude. If I die, it's all good. It happened, but it's, it, yeah, it's fine. 
I've only been on this ship for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and I could I could make an hour long video out of this. I really do feel like that. Maybe. I mean, not that I'm gonna try. I don't think that I'm gonna try and make this an hour. Um, there's probably gonna be different runs that I've lost actually that aren't even shown. Some of them are gonna be shown, but not all of them are gonna make it to the video. You guys are gonna see the upsides and downsides, of course, but fitting everything that's gonna be a lot of shit. I've got so close to winning so many fights, it's kind of hurts sometimes, but. Dylan, if that hurts you, that means that you need to work on that and try and, you know, not let that shit touch you, alright? You can't be letting video games, inter you know, interfere with your peace. Like, try to remain competitive, but at peace at the same time. It's kind of a... It's a really weird thing, and I don't know how exactly to make that work, but... Listen, okay, some people could say that it's impossible, but... Don't let anyone define what's possible and what's not, okay? You could become a different breed mentally, alright? You could become a, a different breed that... No one has ever seen before if you train yourself hard enough and truly have that self-belief, all right? And pursue that true vision and have discipline with it. AKA, stop yourself when you get fucking pissed off. You can be competitive and like be like, I'm going to shit on this guy as soon as I get back. But you don't have to let it like get to you to where it like kind of like drains you for a moment. Because I feel like I'm getting good with this whole thing, guys. Like when it comes to things affecting me, now I might be like, oh, what are you talking about, Dylan? I mean, they affect me very, very short term. It used to get to the point where video games could like interfere with my peace for the rest of my entire day over a situation that happened in like like in a game right now i get over things very very quickly so progress is being made and more progress will be made where are you guys cuz i want to fight oh wait you guys are over at dorms all right let's go can't wait to snatch one of these AKs or MP5s off of one of these fucks. You guys don't even understand. Let's go, bitch. Come on, man. Let's go. Even though you're going to have an MP5. Never mind. It's a Thompson. All right. What's up, bitch? You're hit again. Wait, are you aiming at me? He's just running for it. He's fucking booking it, dude. I don't know where he's playing from now exactly, but I can start flanking around this way. Or try. I don't know how well it's really gonna work, but... knew about me flanking. I mean, I'm putting in damage. I don't know how many meds he has, though. That's the thing. I don't know which one of us is going to get shot in the back, but I feel like it's going to happen at some point to one of us. And I'm being the most mobile, like the one running or Oh, I just saw this one right here. What the fuck? He looked like a spacesuit guy. He didn't even look like my normal guy. Oh, he's over there. What the fuck? This is like a full metal guy right here. This is not the Tommy guy. The Tommy guy is up there on the bridge somewhere, I think. I don't know, though, for sure. This guy's just running to the extract. I think, man, I'm not going to be able to catch him in time. Fuck, man. I'm out here just dodging different people. They could just get just a tad bit closer, man. I feel like I got their ass. I don't know where this guy went exactly. I'm guessing he's just running down this road to the extract, right? Let me just see. Oh, he's inside here. Okay, this is good. I was playing from up there so I can see inside here and everywhere else. What's up, bitch? How you doing? Look
Look at all these fucking berries, bro. You guys see this shit? It's insane. Problem is now, there should be a Tommy guy that... I mean, like, there was a Tommy guy that I was fighting. That's just a fact. I know that. Where he is, I have no idea, because... I thought that the Tommy guy was playing on the bridge at some point. Duh, I'm getting the fucking shivers, bro. Fuck this shit. Like, I'm actually playing Tar- Well, I mean, like, I get the shivers in Rust, of course, but... <laughs> Tarkov is a game where, like, I haven't played it enough to where, like, I get paranoid very easily in it. Kind of like new- Kind of like new Rust players that are like, Yo, like, how do you spray guns? Like, how do you keep yourself together in solo fights and stuff? Well... Go ask a fucking Tarkov player how the fuck he's so good and how he doesn't give a fuck. It takes time. It's all, that's the only answer. It takes time. Put in time toward just video games overall to get better at video games overall, okay? There's different things that can assist your performance and how fast you get better. And how do you do that? Well, play games like Counter-Strike and Valorant. Play games like that and you'll get better with time. Dude, I wonder if this right here is the guy that had the MP5 before that I... Dude, this could fucking be him. Can you actually imagine? <laughs> this right here is uh, how I can get out, but it's like yellow, so can I even get out right here? Yes, okay. Nice, dude, we're home. Nice. So, so that right there was... I actually think that was the same guy as before because he had all these fucking berries, and thank God I killed him in a way where he couldn't even use them once, dude. Oh, dude, get fucking shit on, you fucking bitch. So I'm going to go ahead and end it off right there. That was a fun back and forth type of session of getting shit on and uh, I guess shitting on people occasionally. I mean, it's kind of a rat fest out there to be honest. Which Tarkov, that's like kind of how it is. Like if you hear someone, you start moving all slow and shit. Unless you're a 10k hour player, then you're fucking zooming around that bitch destroying everybody, you know? <laughs> but uh, if you want to see more of this tomorrow, possibly, just comment a quick yes. And if you don't and you want to see vanilla, comment a quick no. Okay, it's up to you on uh, what tomorrow's video is. Because I'm down to play a little bit more of this, a couple episodes of it, right? But yeah, just leave either a quick yes or no. Thanks for making it here to the end of the video, sticking through with me on this one, you know. The emotions were kind of going up and down, you know. I was getting kind of butthurt over this shit, I'm not going to lie. It was getting to me. Um, just like Tarkov does, just Tarkov itself can get to me from the rats in that game, and, I mean, I'm a passive player myself, but I like to still move toward people in a passive fashion, like, I'm not that type of guy that's just gonna be sitting in, like, a corner and shit like that, you know what I mean? But I'll see you next time, you have a beautiful day slash night, wherever time it is for you, my friend, and, uh, yeah, peace out, and uh, bye bye dear.